to keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, present the most important news of the day. Thursday, October 12th of 2023. Foreign Minister Roberto Álvarez will present today before the Permanent Council of the Organization of American States the situation that has been generated between the Dominican Republic and Haiti due to the illegal construction of a canal on the Haitian side to divert the course of the border river Massacre. A female avatar created by artificial intelligence with white skin, brown blonde hair, and wearing a black dress and a thin necklace has been used as a master of ceremonies at the Caricam FinTouch and Insert Touch Summit 2023-2020 Summit. InsertTech has been used as a master of ceremonies at the Caricam FinTech and InsertTech Summit 2023 Forum. The Autonomous University of Santo Domingo has its sights set on innovation and according to its academic vice rector, Rosalia Sosa, at this moment, its most important ticket lies in circular reinvention. Influenza B and A, adenovirus, rhinovirus, respiratory essential, and SARS-CoV-2 or COVID-19 are respiratory viruses that are currently affecting the Dominican population, causing symptoms very similar to those produced by dengue. The reported numbers of suspected dengue cases continue to increase in the country, reaching 11,681 cases so far this year, some 1,180 more than those reported the previous week. The Ombudsman summoned Marilelda Reyes, director of the Juan Bosch City Hospital, as part of the investigations into the discovery of the bodies of newborns in the Cristo Salvador Cemetery. For this and more information, you can visit listindiario.com. For Listing Diario, voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez. To keep you updated, Listing Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presented the most important news of the day.